Riviera and Nayarit is Mexico's ideal location for big fish. You'll never feel more alive than at the Day of the Dead Festival. And you'll never feel more like a rock star than at the Hard Rock Vallarta. Nayarit has the ability to let you experience a profound connection with yourself, nature, and the afterlife. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. I'm on the Pacific side of Mexico on a nearly 200 mile stretch of coastline that is known for its beauty, epic fishing, art, and the perfect place for a world explorer to visit. And it's called Riviera Nayarit. Guillermo Guerrero has taken me under his wing and has invited me to explore one of Nayarit's most popular towns. The name of the town is Sayulita. Uh, Salita is a surfing town, and the name is coming from uh, Sayuli, is a blue corn. Okay. It's very picturesque, you know, this is a really quaint town, and you say they're surfing here? The people start to surfing, uh -huh. they come in here to learn. And it's more like a hippie town. And now you see all the streets that have a little flags, is because it's coming the Day of the Dead in Mexico. The flags are called the Eye of God, all handmade with colorful yarn woven on wooden crosses, representing the power to see and understand things unknown to the physical human eye. This is just one of the many works of art depicting the upcoming Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead, a multi-day holiday celebration to reunite the living with the dead. The people, they do pilgrims from the church to the cemetery to celebrate that the dead people is coming to visit us. Ah, okay. So as you are hosting your dead people at home with uh, some food that they like it, drinks, if they like tequila, you left a little glass of tequila on the table. Oh, okay. For us, it's not a sad day. It's more to happiness because it's like you dead people coming to see you. Ah, I understand. My home for the week while visiting Riviera Nayarit is the Hard Rock Vallarta Hotel. Complete with a gorgeous beachfront setting, the Hard Rock Vallarta is the essence of all-inclusive coastal luxury and tranquility. With a rock and roll edge. The staff greeted me in their Halloween fest. Just below the Hard Rock sign is the infamous Rockstar Suite, where you can live like a true rock and roll legend. This is one all-inclusive oasis that has everything you need and want. It's 5.15 a.m. And while the other hotel guests are having rock and roll fantasies, I'm on my way to the dock to meet up with a marvelous sport fishing crew to target my favorite eating fish, the yellowfin tuna. Like to put my finger on. Hey, Bring it in, man. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate it. Beautiful boat. And the right gear on board. Perfect. The Marla Sport Fishing Fleet is a third generation, family owned charter operation. Extremely well versed in the area and very passionate about the quality of service they provide. Those big boys, they're out there. Be gentle with me. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm heading out with Captain Alonzo and his brother and first mate, Roberto. I mean, I'm pretty excited. We went out to the islands. Uh -huh. We landed a 220. What do you call a 220? Is that a cow? 200 plus. That's a cow. Look at that Mercury engine. I like that Mercury engine. These boys, they fish every night for bait. They supply all the local fishermen. Yeah. Thanks to them, we do some good fishing. Gogs. And you guys call them what? Caballitos. Caballito. This is the lifeblood, right? 
Yep. As the sun starts to peak over the mountaintops, I take a moment to myself to quietly express my gratitude for being able to follow my lifelong passion and to do what I love. All right, now let's get it. The Marla's boys don't take no for an answer. They know the fish are out there and they'll do everything and anything to hook you up. You don't see them on the surface, but they're down there. We start by inflating giant balloons with helium to suspend both live and dead baits. Okay, that's perfect. So you actually put these out and they're just suspending the baits like just above the surface? Mm -hmm. Like right on the surface. There. Really? After deploying two balloons, it's time to bait the hooks. We're gonna put a squid on one. Okay. Look at that. On the other balloon, dueling caballitos. This God. is the double trouble right here. Doble problema. Unbelievable. Click her on and take it to the tape. There you go. Take it to the tape. Oh, shit. We're gonna put that one on the bow. I hope I don't get a bite right now. I find it interesting how it's just enough weight on both baits, the squid and the gogs, to stay in the water. That's what I don't get. Like, how is that possible? <laughs> it's a flying fish right here. This is spectacular. We've been getting some good bites on this. Check this out, Peter. That's beautiful. We're gonna put this out on the kite. There we go. <laughs> and the bag stays with it, huh? Yep, that's the little tail, the kite tail. <laughs> Roberto sends out the meticulously rigged flying fish for one last flight. And with some flat lines set out on the other side, we're now stretched out on all four corners. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Citizen. Better starts now. Invincible. When you're serious. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. It's coming right at us. Full speed ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 30 feet away. It's my first Riviera Nayarit -E fish. Look at those lit fins. Hey, bullseye. Nice job. This one ate a squid. We ain't gonna starve. Good looking mahi. Perfect fit. It was meant to be. All of a sudden, a massive school of bait fish rose to the surface and began thrashing, creating endless patterns. You just know the predators are lurking on the perimeter. I gotta come back. I have no fighting bell, I got nothing. I'm gonna come back. He knew he had to get a bite. He can't be that far. He had a live gog on a... Uh, 150 pound leader on the surface. Oh yeah. He's got some more weight to him now. Big fish. Tuna, oh yeah. That's a real nice tuna. Woo! Coming in. Coming in. Watch the deck. Get ready for the deck, guys. Ah. Big boy. <laughs> Big boy. <laughs> yeah. Woo. All right, first some skin. Woo. We did it. We did it. Woo. Never surrender. With nine baits out, it goes to show you that the Marla's crew will stop at nothing to get the job done. The last time I caught a tuna this size, a massive shark took a giant chunk out of it. I'm pleased to say, it's me who gets the first bite of this yellowfin tuna. Living off the bounty of the sea right here. Thank you so much, man. It was a freaking awesome day. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. What's your favorite bird? Blue-footed booby bird. Blue-footed booby. Yes, those are very special. Uh Riviera Nayarit has many options for ecotourism, including a day trip to the national park called Isla Mariatas. It's a group of volcanic islands that have become home to millions of birds and has become an official bird sanctuary. This is the spot to show you the blue-footed booby birds. Oh, okay. Look at the color. The color of these are different. For example, that one on top, it's darker. That means it's older. Okay. 
When the male wants to find a female, the male have to dance around the female. Really? It's a yes, serious so. mating ritual, huh? Yes. And those guys are monogamous, they only have one couple in life. So that's, uh, that's really nice in today's society. They're sticking with it. Social media hasn't made them change at all. <laughs> <laughs> There are so many ways to enjoy the ecosystem around the islands. From looking for the hidden beach, to staring in amazement at the natural caves. And if you like snorkeling, there are tons of tropical fish to see. And if you're up for the challenge, you can jump on a paddleboard and hang 10, right up to the massive blowholes. Mercury, go boldly. Fishing chaos. Fish smarter, not harder. Low T Center. Reinventing men's health care. Yeti. Built for the wild. With a very successful first day of fishing and a few extra hours of sleep, I'm fully focused and looking forward to what the Marlow Sport Fishing Team has planned for day two. We got our uh, caballito baits from this fella here. Woo! Splashy, splashy. Everyone's got Mercury's here. It's a family-friendly place. We got a beautiful day. It's probably 82 degrees. Sky is super clear, light winds. It looks nice and calm. That tuna was awesome, man. You know, for me, it was a big deal. We worked really hard for it. And we finally got it. How far is this run? A couple miles? Yeah. And then we're going to start making big baits. OK. Because for the big part of those, we got to put those big, juicy skipjacks. You guys are going to put me to work. I know it. That's our game plan. Yeah. You guys definitely figure it out, man. You guys are on the next, the next level. This is a paradise. Yeah. That's a big boy. This, this is the real deal right here. Oh, yeah. We call those little tunnies. All right, we're catching this bait. We don't have bait. We don't have the big boys that we're looking to get, so this fish here is gold. How many hooks do you have on here? Three? Three. Oh, boy. Might have a triple zipple going. Here it comes. It looks like a multiple. Triple. Who catches more fish? Nobody. That's who. Let's get one of these guys off, put them in the well. Good job. This is called a downrigger. It's connected to a heavy lead. It weighs about 15 pounds. We connect the line to this. So basically the line's gonna come from the boat down through this and it's gonna be slow trolled. You can set it down to the depth you want. And the reason you wanna get it down deep is because you wanna present that bait right in their faces. So when you bring it through, they're gonna see it, eat it, snap it out, drop back, lock it up, and they're gonna run for structure. And then you're gonna to have to really give a major, major heat to get them out. Really effective. All right, that's it. OK, lock it up. Yep. How deep are we fishing? 100 feet. 100 feet? So we're going to have this one down, and we have one going out on the surface there. One, two, three, four, five. Got the big boy on. I don't know who it is, but it's a big boy. Whoa, that's a lot of heat. I like it. Short pump, short pump. People often ask me why my left arm is bigger than my right arm. Because I'm like a stone crab, you know? <laughs> this is why. How many pounds of drag is this? 35. Oh. How you doing, Peter? I feel great. All right. I haven't hey, had no. breakfast yet, but. That was a perfect hookup, man. Love it. Uh, it's gotta be pretty yeah, close. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gotta be close. Oh. <laughs> gotta get low. That was a back thruster. Oh man, big boy coming up. Big AJ, holy moly. <laughs> Woo! Marlins, baby. <laughs> we got a bleeder, folks. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the biggest amberjack I've ever seen in my life. Let the bodies hit the floor. Hey, Peter, when you fish with marlas, you're fishing with the best. 
If that was an advertisement, I don't know what is, and I like it. Marketing, baby. I want to feel how heavy this thing is. <laughs> Congrats, man. Thanks, man. That was awesome. Good job. As the old saying goes, don't leave fish to find fish. Here we go again. So, back to the coordinates we go in hopes of catching a big Pargo snapper, better known to me as a Kubera snapper. We laced up another big skipjack with a giant circle hook and went to work. All right, they stall. Oh, okay. popped out, popped out. Drop him back. One, two, three, four, five. Lock it up. The zing, zing, my reel is starting to sing. We're about to see what it is. It's coming up. Pargo. Pargo? Yeah, yeah. No way, that's huge. Holy, look at that beautiful wrench. Wow. Oh my God. Shake it, don't break it. Look at those teeth, he's like an old dog. There you go. Another beautiful fish. <sighs> you guys are making it look so easy. Good job, <laughs> man, slimy. That's the cut you're looking for, right? Yeah, that's exactly what I was looking for. You told me you were gonna get me a Parco snapper? That's it. Salt Life sunglasses, see clearly. Seldration, good for you, good for our planet. Seldration is hydration defined. Invincible, when you're serious. Mercury, go boldly. Just on the edge of Sayulita, the town is kicking off Dia de los Muertos in the traditional skeleton makeup. The team of women artists have the task of painting over 100 faces for tonight's parade. It's not an easy job, but with years of practice and a well-organized assembly line, they even had time to get me ready to celebrate. Is the primera vez? See. <laughs> Each woman here has a specific job, so now I'm on the third person working on my face, and then after this, I'm gonna move down the road. That's when they start doing the foundation for the actual darker paint, the black paint. This is my inspiration. We're getting close. I feel like we're close. This might be my new thing. How do you celebrate? Tengo mi maquillaje, maquillo también a mis hijos y a quien se deje maquillar porque me encanta maquillar y tratamos de que se haga de manera más colorida posible para que represente como una fiesta. What should I expect tonight? Fiesta hasta que amanezca. Is sí. tequila possible? Mucha tequila, Garcia. mucha comida. Perfecto, because I am starving. <laughs> And after getting myself an urban sombrero, I went straight to the first watering hole. Tequila, I'm big in tequila. Tequila. In case I encounter any spirits tonight, I want to be prepared. Tonight, and for the next few days, Mexicans believe that the boundary between the world of the living and the dead is believed to be the thinnest. So bridges and tunnels are created to symbolize the crossing, and using photos of those who have passed is like sending an open invitation. An invitation to eat, drink, and dance among their living loved ones. This one for me? 
this, this poor Budo. We're going for it. Tuki, 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 tuki. Ah, that, uh, that almost fell off. Well, it's my first time riding a Budo down the streets of Sayulita with my face painted on Dia de los Muertos. Here I am down a cobblestone street on a Budo with this outfit on in Mexico and Riviera Nayarit. I'm living life right now. I'm feeling pretty good. I love it here. I'm gonna break us in. All right, ready? Yeah, we're ready. Riviera Nayarit has been like home to me. I'm gonna come back, take a vacation here, go out, catch some giant tunas with my buddies on the Marla Sport Fishing Team, and you know, just chill. This is the spot to come. Thank you guys, thank you. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.